it started because um, a guy that I knew who was several years older than I was, uh, he'd, he'd gone to a secondary modern school, I was still in junior school, and uh, he said, oh, we've had a microscope, you see, to play with uh, or at school, and he went on about what he'd seen. And so I went home and told my father I wanted a microscope, which was like, on his salary, like saying, you know, I would like the moon or something. And to my astonishment, he bought me one of these in a wooden box, which is four pounds, four pounds fifty, and he owned, he earned two pounds fifty. <laughs> so it was, it was a lot of money for him. And after a couple of years, I was still using it, and he bought me another one, a very old second-hand one, for seven pound fifty, and I kept that right the way through till I was about 18. Mm. Uh, I even took it to Iceland on, a, on a, an expedition. Um, and when I was going to university, he bought me another one, a new one, which cost him 40 pounds, poor man, but with no glass on it, I had to take the glass off the old one. And somewhere along the line, I started to take photographs, not with that microscope, with the the second one I had, the £7.50 one. Was, I mean, was that easy to do in those days? Could you? Well, the problem was, of course, I didn't know how to do it and I didn't know anybody who did it. So um, it was a Heath Robinson contraption, I can tell you. The microscope was bigger than this, of course, and twice as big. It didn't have this hinge on. And so if you wanted to take photographs, or if I wanted to take photographs the way I wanted to do, it had to lie down and it lay on the sofa in the front room, which is a room you only use for births, marriages and deaths and Christmas afternoon, propped up by cushions on each side and a cooker bulb, a 15 watt cooker bulb in the innards of, um, uh, of a battery out of a flashlight stuck underneath the stage and we had a, a a Jacob's cream cracker tin box which we kept the family policies in because in those days you paid your insurance on a weekly basis and that sort of thing and I found that if I opened the lid it stayed up and what's more where the tin plate was rolled it just took a sheet quarter plate sheet of um, enlarging paper bromide paper so I used to put a piece of cardboard in switch the light on in the sort of dark with the curtains <laughs> drawn, focus it up on this bit of cardboard and then switch the light off, put the bit of um, paper in, the, the bromide paper, expose it for oh, 15 seconds, 20 seconds and then put the piece of paper up my jumper and run out of the room and down the cellar and swish it around in old saucepans one of which I'd developer and the other I'd fix her in. And it produced it produced paper negatives. I was about thirteen, I suppose, when I did that. 